Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Aries. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Um, Aries, I'm doing your reading with the Light Seers Tarot, blended with the Muse Tarot in one stack. So you'll see a mix of both in your spread today. So you've got the Four of Wands on the split, which is very fitting because what's already on the table here seems to have it's like the it's like the overall energy of your reading today is friendship and just spending quality time with people that you feel so at home with so yourself with that maybe maybe it's kind of unlocking some aspects of your magic because it's like this this get together that's putting you I want to say because it's putting you in a really great place is really having big um, lasting impacts you know long after the these event and then the justice card at the bottom of the deck okay so it's almost as if first of all the justice card has been starting to show up in all of the readings but it's almost as if it's somehow connected to this four of wands energy um like as a result of or it could just be timing it's like first friends and then right after that justice and justice is kind of coming in for you aries as like a rebalancing of energy or correction of a situation that's been very off balance or off kilter or putting you off balance, right? It's creating an imbalance within you, within your emotional body or even your, your, your chemistry, your psychology, you know, and of course this could be the absolute perfect remedy for that. It's just, you know, getting away with getting away with some girlfriends and just, completely putting something that's bothering you out of your mind actually which is potentially exactly what we're talking about here with the cards that are already on the table um but whether one is causing the other it seems like they're very close together a lot like the pisces reading yesterday actually in pisces it was kind of reversed it was like justice happens first and then right on the heels of that somebody was coming in for them right so for you it's like it's it's so it's almost as if this justice energy is this big kind of anchor in the collective right now. And we're kind of seeing everybody's situations playing out, you know, in the vicinity of that central point being the justice energy, the correction of an imbalance or correcting an error, correcting an error from the past. Okay. Overall energy from the Zen tarot for Aries. intensity that's an interesting card it almost looks like kind of like breaking the sound barrier look at that there is a figure in there can you see the face there's actually the foot i'm now i'm seeing the body the body taking shape at first i just saw the face there's so much there's such a blast of energy it's like a speed skater so very swift movement um very swift movement it's interesting because I want to say, well, this being the overall energy, it almost feels like this is the backdrop kind of, it's, it's almost as if this, this aspect of it isn't completely in the forefront for you. It's kind of the energetic backdrop on which the rest of this story is playing out. An energetic intensity that's, it's almost like it's giving you speed skates. It's speeding up everything interesting actually i want to tie this rainbow energy into this first card here which is the ten of cups with the rainbow right so it's like this this connection or this friendship or this time that you're spending like i said with this four of wands it seems like it might just be one specific kind of best friend but it could be a bigger collective of some sort that you're just you know finding some time to be together it almost feels actually like there's something about the embrace between these two that almost feels like um, you're seeking that out you specifically to kind of um, as a, like as a confidant, like needing to talk about something that has been bothering you or something that you're having a hard time getting over. So it's like you're getting together with your best friend or your sister, whoever it is, and just needing that connection in order to be able to kind of just get it all out. It very quickly turns into like something other than that though. It's like if you start this conversation or this weekend or this visit together kind of 
talking about the, the, the troubles that have brought you, has brought this connection back into your mind in a sense, right? It's like you're seeking connection because you're attempting to overcome something. Um, so just finding relief in kind of like kindred spirits, right? So it's like you get together at first kind of saying like, I'm really, it's not that you're walking in saying I'm having a really hard time, but it's definitely on your mind, right? And you're hoping to maybe get some, um, perspective or just even have somebody that you can just openly talk uh, like completely unfiltered about what's happening for you in your life. Right. But the connection is very quickly kind of, um, bringing in this aim rainbow energy, which is really fascinating. Okay. So now I want to feel into, because like I said, it feels like a backdrop energy that you almost, you almost might not be aware of because I feel like you're really busy. You're really in deep in conversation. It's interesting how that's been coming up too. It was in the Pisces extended, like a really um, significant conversation. So it's almost this backdrop energy that is that your conversation is riding on in a sense, right? Um, so what I'm feeling into here is, is, is it the conversation that is kind of pulling in this energy or this momentum or this intensity for you to be able to ride this wave into whatever's next for you? Or is it almost just kind of like this energy here where it's, it's, it's kind of, they're almost simultaneous. It's hard to distinguish which one came first in a sense. Well, for you, I believe you will very clearly understand that it's like you had a great time with your friends. And then on Monday you get like really good news about something that, that is, it's almost like it's resolving itself and you didn't have to put any more effort into it. It just, it just kind of broke loose, right? So anyway, here you are in this gorgeous rainbow energy with your friend. It feels like you, maybe you are generating it in some regard, but it's also like, because it's available, it, the, so it's, it's almost like it is always this kind of backdrop energy, but this connection is helping you tap into it somehow, or maybe bring it closer to you, or it's, it's allowing you to utilize it in some way. So, Interestingly, we've got the star card next and because they're double decks, we've got the other star came up with it and it feels like the two of you, right? It's like maybe you're going through really similar things or this conversation that you're having is bringing forth this idea. Uh, it's like it's really strengthening your connection. First of all, I want to say just like in the Pisces extended, it was talking about the significance and the importance of this kind of deep connection coming through a long conversation, a long heartfelt conversation, you know, just anyway, um, which is, which is very healing to the both of you, I want to say, but also it's kind of bringing into sharp focus, perhaps the fact that you both maybe have kind of a growing desire for the future that is very aligned, right? very similar vision of the future. So it's actually, oh my, it's, it's crazy how much this is like the Pisces extended. It's like it, the, the, this conversation is transformational or a big shift happens during this, this get together, because it starts out almost being like talking about your struggles, you know, in the Pisces, it was, it was talking about kind of, it was a very melancholy or nostalgic energy that was kind of a weighted, emotionally weighted energy. But at some point it transitioned into this like, this vision of the future, this dreaming about the future. It's like the energy lifts up. It's like when this rainbow energy finally comes in, something shifts at some point. And then it, it goes into the six of materials here where there's all of this like what can what can we do together? This this six of materials talks specifically to me about almost like a co-creation, a very intentional attempt to co-create something together, do something together. It's like coming into agreement about it's interesting. I almost thought I saw a cardinal in here. Maybe somebody watching this is a cardinal is your symbol because that I've never seen that in there before. It's part of the rose, but it flashed forward as a cardinal. Okay, so 
It's this idea of the realization that you're so incredibly aligned right now with where you are or what you've just experienced and what you just experienced is kind of pushing you towards a similar kind of wish or desire for your future. You see what I mean? It's like you're realizing you're very much in the same place. Because of that, it's like you're more aligned than ever. It's like you were already kind of best friends or you know, maybe this is somebody you haven't seen in a while. And so catching up with them, you're realizing how exactly in tune you are. And so it's like, what can, we, what should we do together? What can we, let's see what we can do together. Interestingly, there's this message coming through here with this queen of wands, it's queen of inspiration in this deck and this um, seven of swords coming up behind her, right? I want to say this is the, this is the trouble that you're trying to overcome. Maybe it's a particular individual that's been quite a nuisance for you, or it could just be something that's true, something that's, it could be representing your own state of mind about how you just can't quite turn it off, kind of, you know, going over and over something that's really upsetting to you because you can't find the solution or it's just kind of following you around, right? Maybe there's just a situation that you just can't find relief from or get away from. But this getting together with this friend it's almost like this rainbow energy is part of it. It's like it's coming in and kind of wrapping you with this energetic that is actually almost this kind of protective bubble that is is segregating you off from this, this energy so it's no longer a part of your makeup, right? Which is extremely beneficial if you are um, setting intention to manifest something, right? So it's almost like... Is that part of the intention? Is that kind of like the first, the, the first thing or the thing? I say the first thing because I feel like this is going to become something that you might seek out more in the future is kind of maybe connecting with this friend because you see the effects very quickly of this conversation. It's like you got together and you expressed the issue and maybe a wish or desire to have it completely removed from your life. And it's like in that, it's the, the fact that you are so aligned and the fact that there are multiple of you is kind of adding um, momentum or intensity to this desire and it's bringing it forth very powerfully is what I'm seeing. It's like this very powerful manifestation coming out of it. Part of, okay, this is interesting. There's, okay, I'm seeing it like this. First, you get together with some friends. It's this beautiful energy. Like I said, it starts out a bit, a bit down or you go into the situation needing upliftment, absolutely finding it. Maybe it's that situation itself that is kind of putting this protective bubble around you or getting, or it's kind of pushing that energetic debris out of your auric field, right? So... And it's like after that, that could be the entire intention of getting together is just kind of ridding yourself of this swords energy, right? And that's exactly what's happening with the queen of inspiration here. It's like, it's completely energetically, you're free of it, right? But it's like, but the after effect, it's kind of like this. It's like the after effect, everything up here is talking about what you did by getting together with these friends the after effect is this justice energy, which is coming in here as this page of cups, the nine of swords and the magician card. It's looking something like this. I feel, it feels to me like this could be days or a week or something after this. It's like you go in feeling a bit down, you come out feeling exceptionally uplifted and very much like yourself again, like you're back in your own energy and feeling really empowered and good and free of this nuisance, right? Even if it's just from your, kind of like your mind space. I'm thinking of that um, that song by Taylor Swift, I Forgot That You Existed, right? And I thought that it would kill me, but it didn't. Okay, so, and it's like a couple of days or a week or so after that, suddenly you're really noticing some significant shifts in your life because this page of cups is talking to me about kind of being in this kind of limbo in between state with the nine of swords. I know the nine of swords has a very different meaning, but for me, it's tied today visually with these cards. I mean, with this image here, it's almost like you're, you're wanting to pull something in, but it's not quite coming in or you're not even able to get a really clear view of it. It's almost like being stuck between frames on a film, right? 
Um, so it's almost like you can't quite get the whole story in the nine of swords is talking about, you know, pulling, getting pieces of it in your dream. It's very, it's just coming in as this very elusive energy where you're not quite ready or you're not quite able to get a real grasp on it. It's like you, you have experienced it in your dream state, but in your reality, it's still kind of stuck somehow, stuck in limbo somehow, right? But then this magician card coming next, it's like, but here, it's, here it comes. It's like suddenly you're realizing that you, that something has changed. And interestingly, it's this, it seems to be this rainbow energy, right? It's like you have access to some, something new. You have a new tool in your tool belt in a sense. And it could just be because you've kind of returned to your own energetic state and you no longer have this clutter or distract or disturbance or distortion in your field. And so it's giving you access to the rainbow energy, which has always been available to you, right? It's almost like the manifestational field, the etheric, however it is that you want to characterize it. It's like, it's always been there. But it's like this, some sort of a dynamic in your past is kind of, it, it's interesting because again, the Pisces reading was talking about kind of getting involved in somebody else's story and being almost stuck in this echo realm or something or stuck in somebody else's story, right? It's kind of just got that. And it's like just somebody else's stuff is in your, in your space or in your mind or in your energy or in your emotions. And so it's kind of keeping you from pulling in something that you really desire for yourself. But it's like after you and your best friend do this, it's almost, it's almost looking a bit like a ritual in some sense, right? So I want to say that it's very intentional that you're like, let's see what we can do about kind of blasting this energy out of, out of our sphere, right? And then afterwards, it's like you notice that something has changed because suddenly you're tapping in or you're receiving more or you're starting to see evidence or things are beginning to manifest with the magician. It's like you've been trying to pull this in for a long time. Suddenly, you're starting to see evidence of it. It's actually beginning to happen, right? Because there's been a correction of an energy or maybe it's actually like a separation of an energy. It's like there was this blending this blending that was maybe muting this, this, the full potential of the energetics that you had at your disposal. Okay. So with the three of cups coming next, this is like calling up your best friend and saying, you got to see this, or you got to, you got to hear about what's been happening with me. Right. It's like this observing this phenomenon together. It's like come over right now and you have to see the synchronicities that have been playing out ever since we got together. And I feel like your friend is going to have a very similar story. It's like, yeah, ever since we had this conversation, all of this stuff is happening individually in your lives. And so it's like you get back together to share notes about that. And then from there, it's almost like it just keeps growing, right? Because you got this three of cups and you got the muse of, of voices, which is the king of swords actually. But in this card today, I'm just looking at the imagery, right? So it's talking about almost, it's, it's almost like this celebration energy where you get together, you compare notes, and it's like you are mind blown by the power of what is beginning to occur in both of your lives separately. And it's almost like this happy dance energy. You see what I'm saying here? And then what can we do? What can we do now? Now that we've, now that we have realized the powerful effects that this is have this, this is having oh interestingly interesting actually it's almost as if there's a point where this kind of background energy or intensity or this whatever this speed skating kind of thrust or momentum is um it's like that comes into your awareness at some point it's, it's interesting how it's been wanting to say it's this kind of background. It's like the field, right? It's not necessarily part of the conversation. The conversation in the first part of the reading is, is almost kind of mundane in the sense that it's talking about your everyday lives, your everyday problems, your everyday wishes and desires, a need to heal, a need to kind of come back into yourself, right? It's all focused on that. But it's like when you get back together for the second time or you have this follow-up conversation and realize 
the momentum, the magnitude of what you've both tapped into, it's like there's a point where you almost turn around and perceive or you turn your attention towards this energy in the background. It's like it suddenly comes into your awareness somehow. Well, first of all, the Ten of Cups, okay? So interesting that you got the Ten of Cups again. So it's like you're deliberately kind of recreating the same kind of a energetic or the same kind of a day or whatever that you had the first time around, much bigger this time actually. This looks like this massive kind of Vegas style show. If you see all the people at the bottom, they're like on a stage. It almost feels like with all of these cards here that you may be inviting others. It's like the group is getting bigger it's like the two of you get back together, you're mind blown by this. And then you're, you're kind of saying, let's, let's, let's expand the group. It's almost like the two of you are in the center here and now you're bringing in other people and it's just growing and growing. But this here is almost like this energetic that is, that is making, making its presence known, or you're becoming more and more aware of it. The more you're kind of, you're impressed by what is occurring energetically in, in your life as a result of this gathering or this connection. And so because of that, it's like you're, you're beginning to focus more on the energetics and understanding that because, and the reason why I'm saying all of that is because of this eight of wands at the end of the reading here, it looks like this, right? It's like this rainbow blast of intensity and it's all just this pure energetics. Actually, it looks like this group, like I said, it feels like this expanding, group or collective. It's like, it starts out with the two of you and it's like, maybe it's like become this weekly meeting where you're getting together and the group is growing and expanding because this looks like at least eight individuals kind of dipping their, their tools into this magic energy that you've somehow unlocked, right? Or discovered. And I want to say, it's just talking about this kind of um, energetic potential that is kind of, showing itself to you because as a result of strong desire, especially because there are multiple ones kind of stating this desire or intention. So it's because of strong desire, but it's also because of this incredibly strong alignment and bond between the two of you that has this effect of really, um, powerfully kind of cleansing your energetic state or your or your aura or your consciousness right it's like it's kind of blasting everything out of your field that that could create disturbance or distortion and so that's what's bringing in this purer or the pure potential for you which is interesting because that's what justice usually talks about for me, is kind of this like higher order reality or, or a truer truth in a sense, right? So it's like you're just tapping into really refined energy because I want to say as a result of this incredible connection that you have. And like I said, it could be somebody that you've known for quite some time. Maybe it's a new friend, perhaps, but it does have a lot of kind of nostalgia and catching up energy in it. So it's like you get together with a best friend, maybe... Um, Maybe you've kind of gone through, uh, I want to say like some sort of a, a emotion, not emotional, a spiritual awakening, something like that separate from each other. And so that could be a real big part of this getting together and catching up with each other is not just kind of realizing or um, dealing with this, whatever struggle it is that you've brought into the day with you, but realizing that you both kind of have this connect, like strong connection to intuition or to the, to higher consciousness or the cosmos, right? With the two star energies here, maybe both realizing that you're, that you're star being something like that. So it could be that discovery itself is adding to this, this uh, momentum and this kind of tapping into this field that, like I said, it's always been there. There's something different about the two of you coming together this time, right? There's something different. And I almost want to say it could be something to do with just kind of where we are on the collective timeline. 
that ener more energy is becoming more available to all of us kind of and so but this is this ideal timing for you to be having this conversation because it's like because you have a strong desire and that strong desire is going to really kind of point out the result the powerful results of setting this intention do you see what i'm saying if you weren't kind of tr needing to get over something that was really kind of stressing you out or setting you off balance you might not notice it so intently or so intensely right intensity is the overall energy so i'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended if you're interested in that the link is in the description and if not i will see you next time aries thanks bye